voter registration. So Jennifer, if, uh, is, is Jennifer is saying there's 200,000 of these mismatched uh, voter registration things in the system. Could How be. many of those are, are, are you uh, contending are things like this where it's just a simple name reference or something like that? Well, it could be as many two, 200,000. And as, although that may seem unlikely to the lay observer, if you were to contact the boards of elections across the state and ask the Republican boards of election members how many times they run across this instance, they'll tell you it is a very common occurrence. In the case of HAVA, let me point out again, matching procedure was never intended as a means of purging mismatches. It was never, a, a, the efforts of HAVA were, to, were intended to clean voter rolls of duplicate registrants, not those who happen to have left an initial off a registration card or used their maiden names versus their newly married names. You know, there are, there are some Ohioans, for instance, who take their, their married name but are registered to vote under their maiden name. In those instances, among the 200,000, for instance, those instances, those names would be kicked out. And there are those, in my estimation, it would be including the Republican Party would step forward and urge boards of elections and the Secretary of State to dismiss those voters entirely. Because the letter of the law says that the voter's name, registration name, must appear as it appears on the BMV or the Social Security number. There are hundreds of thousands of cases where that's just not the example. Lost initials, maiden names, full names, uh, uh, paternal names, all of those instances, a bad O versus a good U from Joe the Plumber, John Husted, Chris Redford, we are, we are one of uh, three of the 200,000 or more examples. And there's no, there's no secret here that the Ohio Democratic Party and our friends at the Campaign for Change worked exceedingly hard for the last several months registering voters who were qualified to ensure that they could vote. As well, we've read about nonprofit organizations and other uh, organizations doing the same. Their efforts, our efforts, should not be dismissed out of hand because of these, these uh, ludicrous allegations that voter fraud is occurring. It's voter registration fraud that has been alleged, not voter fraud. And in the case of voter registration fraud, the boards of elections of this state have indicated over and over and over that there are safety uh, nets in place to ensure that any of those who have uh, placed Mickey Mouse or Tony Romo or Woody Hayes' name, Bill Hershey's name, those would be kicked. But if you don't, if you use Bill as a voter name and William as your given name, you should be allowed to vote. If you accidentally put a, or the boards of election think because you're poor penmanship, your name is Wurzelbacher versus Wurzelbacher, you show intent. It's clear he's a legal voter and should be allowed to vote. It's my understanding that he registered the plumber registered to vote back He's in not a plumber, but. Well, he, the would-be plumber. Uh, registered to vote back in 92? Yes. And he voted back then and has had a very spotty yes. uh, voting uh, yes. sense. And, and uh, is there any chance that he would have been stripped from the roles uh, yeah. in this process? Because Absolutely. He had... Absolutely the case. With Joe Wurzelbacher or Joe Wurzelbacher, the Ohio Republican Party has shown by all of these frivolous lawsuits that they will intervene. If Joe lived in Greene County, the Greene County Republican prosecutor would try to get his unredacted voting records and then allege that he was somehow participating in voter fraud because he has poor penmanship. This is the extent the Ohio Republican Party is going to distract and disenfranchise voters. You know, there are those uh, in, in the right who have suggested you have to even take a poll test. You, have, you should have to read. You should have to name the state capitol. You should have to take some tests. This is 1964. This isn't Neshoba County, Mississippi. We have to stand up, and we're going to stand up every time a vote or a voter is taken for granted by the Ohio Republican Party. And let me remind you, the Ohio Secretary of State is enforcing the very laws that the Republican Party and its leadership here in the State House passed in 1995, 1990, or I'm sorry, 2005 and 2006. The, the, the purpose of the Help America Vote Act, and I was here in 2000 and 2001 uh, during the course of the Al Gore campaign, and then when HAVA was took, uh, taken up by our friends at the federal level, each state had to make recommendations to, the, to, uh, uh, to our friends at the federal level, our members of Congress, and, and those at the national level that are, that are uh, compelled to enforce uh, voting rights laws. We had to make recommendations. 
in 2000, 2001, 2002. Tom Lindrum and others, who Larry Householder then appointed to the board at that time, he never intended that HAVA be used to purge mismatches. It was intended that they purge duplicate registrants. There's a huge difference between mismatch and duplicate registrants. You show me where Mickey Mouse voted and we'll enforce the law. But Mickey Mouse never gets to vote because the boards of elections, Republican and Democrat at the county level, kick those out. They purge those to begin with, no different than the credit card does, credit card company does when you try and get your t-shirt at the Indians game when they're trying to sign you up for a free credit card. That's how that happens. This is a, an issue that's literally been created because the Republicans and John McCain are wrong on the issues. They see, uh, they see the days ticking away, they see themselves behind in the polls, and they have nothing to talk about about pointing fingers at our Secretary of State, Jennifer Bruner, who, unlike Ken Blackwell four years ago, has not co-chaired uh, 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 John uh, McCain's campaign or certainly Barack Obama's campaign. Ken Blackwell, as you remember, was Secretary of State four years ago, was actually the co-chairman of the George Bush campaign. Methinks they protest too much, my friends at the Republican Party.